Hi and welcome to a whattabletpc.com review of the Android Ice Cream Sandwich update for the Asus Transformer Prime tablet. Um, first up what I'm going to show you is a start to finish kind of uh, representation so we'll have a quick look at the uh, lock screen. Not major changes apart from um, you can now see your battery, Wi-Fi signal etc on the lock screen here and there's a um, uh, the typeface change and actually that typeface change runs throughout. Now one thing that's interesting you'll see there I could from the lock screen just jump directly into either the um, tablet itself or actually even into a camera. Um, we'll look at the camera app again in a bit more detail in just a minute. Um, let's come out of that. Let's just jump back into the home screen here um, and I can take you from there but that just makes things a bit easier. You'll see straight away that there's a slight change to the um, typeface that's being used here. Now we're told that that makes it just a little bit easier to read, um, particularly on high definition screens on smartphones. Um, but it makes it a little bit smoother, a little bit more polished and that's a general theme that runs throughout the uh, update in terms of a more polished approach to the operating system and a bit more sort of snappier in terms of getting round. Now, a couple of features that I'll show you. Um, there was always a kind of multitasking type feature um, which would bring up the uh, the apps that you have open at that stage. Um, this uh, slight tweak here, just better usability, it's just easier to shut off apps very quickly. And you've seen there, I'm just literally stroking them to the right before you had to hit a, a cross, which sometimes you did miss. One thing that I'll actually point out now, um, you'll notice down the bottom here there's actually a slight drop off in Wi-Fi signal, um, only two bars showing rather than three. Now I think this is something that's going to have to be resolved because certainly I'm not that far away from the Wi-Fi signal itself and if you look at this uh, iPad 1 we've got here you can see the full three bars showing. So it suggests there's a slight issue that uh, is coming in through with this, uh, this update to um, Android 4.0 on the uh, Asus Transformer Prime, so we suspect that will be updated with a, uh, a further um, bit of a software release coming soon. Other things that you get with the uh, Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich update is a few changes to the interface. So previously up here in the right hand corner you would have had a, a quick jump to your app screen, um, but you would also had a, a plus sign up here that would have taken you through into configurations for home screen, so widgets and, uh, and things like that. Now the apps and widgets are on the, uh, the same kind of tab here, so you can jump quickly between apps and widgets. And when you want to configure the tablet, it's as simple as choosing the widget that you actually want. So let's go for the YouTube widget here, and then dragging it to the home screen that you want it on. So let's pop it up here, and of course you can drag it anywhere you like. Oops, I don't think I've quite done that right there. Let's uh, check that one again. So let's take that there, bring it across. Oh no, it is there. I've overdone this. So, um, and what you can do, of course, uh, with this, again, for, for dragging and dropping to uh, delete any of these, you're actually now just dragging and dropping to a, a kind of a cross symbol at the top here rather than the trash can that we had previously. But you'll notice actually with some of these uh, widgets now, they're, they're very interactive. Um, so I've got a YouTube widget here and you can just flick quickly through the, um, the available videos and choose the one you want to watch. So then you can flick back again. Um, and of course, then you just get taken into uh, the video if you tap on it. Oops, looks like there's an issue with YouTube at that stage. So let me um, show you a few of the other features. Um, we have folders um, coming for this update and if I jump into, let's have a look at the applications, um, it's fairly easy now to create some folders and put some things together. So I'll tell you what, let's put our, um, our TegraZone app, oops, I've actually done that, as you can see I'm not quite up to speed yet on uh, using this, so let's pop that there. Uh, we want to, let's say we're going to put our Tegra Zone app in with a Riptide. Oops. Uh, let's hold that down, put that in there, and if we mold them together, that should create a new folder with both of them in. So, you, as you can see, it's a circular folder, but it works the same way as you would expect. So, if you click on it, then you get the choice to organize your apps with folders. 
Um, let's just show you that again so you can get a feel for it. Let's say we're going to put uh, news and weather here. Let's bring in some navigation app. And let's bring in, let's say we're bringing Google search. So you can figure the screen this way, but then you can mold them together and create folders so that they're all in uh, a similar place. And it saves a bit more space on your screen. And you just click on them and you're given the folder opened up. Um, moving on, uh, like I've shown you, some of the widgets are interactive. So if we select some other widgets, you'll see, uh, let's have various widgets that are available here. Let's choose a news and weather app. Oops, let's go for that. I'm going to pop it on this screen here, just drop it in there. Let's choose news and weather. It's just loading up. There's no weather information just there, now it's populated. And of course you can now click through, oops. Yeah, and it's, as you see, you can flick through. I'm just uh, jumping ahead probably too fast for myself. Oops, let's just see if we can get that to work. Okay, I might not be, there you go, it has changed. I might be um, interacting with that in a different way than I should actually be interacting with it. But you can see it, um, they're interactive from the screen. I mean, the YouTube app's probably a prime example of uh, how that works. Um, so you can flick through videos if you're just generally searching. See that? And then you can click on something and uh, up, still not having the YouTube app up. Okay, so um, that's all fairly straightforward. Um, another improvement is the actual keyboard. So uh, the, the software keyboard that's included is a lot more accurate now. So if we uh, type in uh, anything, you'll find that it uh, suggests options for you, but also it's just a lot more accurate. You don't hit um, errors as much as you used to. So that's all fairly uh, straightforward. Uh, there's better error correction and the word suggestion tool is uh, a little bit more accurate than it's been in the past. Uh, other sort of features that you see that have changed, if I jump to back to the home, let's go to the settings. Uh, the settings is just a bit better configuration. Um, there's a new data usage kind of uh, application here that kind of uh, quickly shows you around, uh, shows you what you've been using and kind of get a bit of a feel for um, how much data uh, you've got left if you're on a contract. A few other bits and pieces here, but um, all fairly self-explanatory um, and probably something that you can kind of uh, look at yourself in your own time if you go up to Ice Cream Sandwich. Other stuff, we've got a unified calendar application. So if we go in here, it's a nice clean calendar app that allows you to bring together um, calendars across multiple um, calendar suppliers. Um, you can have apps that can manage reminders, they can contribute to the calendar, etc. Uh, one major change actually with this one, this update, is the camera app. Now I've got this uh, tablet just lying on a, uh, a table here, but I'll just show you some of the features more, so you won't see anything in the screen. But uh, down the bottom here you can switch between stills, uh, video, and also a new um, opportunity here which is the kind of panorama shot where you can literally uh, sweep the tablet from side to side and it'll create you a, a long uh, panorama shot of whatever you're looking at. Um, on the actual camera app itself um, you can quickly see how uh, this works. Um, you can zoom in and out using this um, slider. If you jump to the settings you get a few other bits and pieces here such as flash mode. Oops, I've just jumped back again. Uh, flash mode. Uh, white balance settings, uh, exposure settings, some screen modes, um, and also a few other camera settings there. If I jump onto the actual video camera itself, uh, when you're taking videos, you've got a few other options. Again, you've got the zoom slider, and then on this, you've got uh, the torch mode on off. You've got a load of um, white balance settings, but this one's quite a new uh, feature which is effects that um, you can load on whilst you're out for, uh, filming that will have an, an impact on the, what it looks like. Similar uh, other bits and pieces, so time lapse interval, um, full HD or you can uh, say what kind of level of video quality you want and also some more other camera setting type stuff. Um, now what this also then leads you into 
is a, a kind of nicer gallery app as well. So say for example here, it's a lot smoother and a lot cleaner than it was previously. You had these kind of stacks before. Um, it also separates between pictures, screenshots. Uh, there's actually an SD card shot there. So if I jump into a, a uh, picture here, um, kind of the big addition here is the opportunity to edit pictures. So you can, um, various other settings there, but if I jump into edit, and here you can do various bits and pieces, so you can change the kind of shadows or um, lighting on the um, on the photo, uh, create for, um, effects on the photo, such as uh, well, there's various ones um, mentioned here. You've also got then a few other kind of things you can change the photo, such as tints, change it to black and white, etc. And also again, this kind of feature where you can uh, put some other sort of changes, adapt the red eye. Um, bring some other sort of bits and pieces out within a photo if you particularly if you're taking photos of people so that's it for uh, the gallery app and overall the tab it seems to be a bit fast if I jump into the web browser here um, we're defaulting to the ASUS page I'm going to open another um, tab let's jump onto the BBC website it's pretty speedy I'm getting in line despite this kind of um, low Wi-Fi issue is it's pretty quick. Um, you can sync your bookmarks across it. Uh, another interesting feature is the ability to save pages for offline viewing. So you simply go on here and then you save offline reading there. And that's the save page then. So if I turned off the Wi-Fi, I could quickly then just pull that off and it's almost like taking a photo of the page, but you can have a look at it um, offline if, when you don't have access to a, uh, um, an internet uh, signal, a, a uh, network signal. And overall, that's about it. I mean, there are a few other bits and pieces within the uh, ice cream sandwich update, particularly around accessibility. There's a uh, face recognition, um, which will allow you to unlock the tablet with uh, taking a picture of your face. Um, rich and interactive notifications, which we'll have a look at in separately. Uh, you've got other things like uh, cloud connected, thinking across devices, etc. Um, there's, there's bits and pieces within this and I'm sure we'll find some more as uh, we play around with it but it's quite a significant update now to Android. Initial impressions when I first looked was more just tweaks but actually as you drive around the back of this you find a lot more stuff. So we're going to leave it there. That's it for this uh, overview of Android Ice Cream Sandwich on the Asus EEE Pad Transformer Prime. Uh, we'll come back to this in, again in the future to have a look in a bit more detail. But if you want to learn more, you want to keep in touch, then visit whattabletpc.com where you can subscribe to an email newsletter which will give you those updates. Um, otherwise, we'll be uh, putting up some new videos fairly shortly. Thanks very much.